if anybody was watching the other day when I was cleaning my roof hatches and I was talking about the beading effect on my hatches, check out the beading effect tonight with a little shower on there. That rain is just literally just beading right on them hatches. Look at that. As soon as I start moving, that's just gonna run right off. Yeah, so I'm back in my motorhome tonight. I had an email from a chap in Scotland called Drew, and we were, um, anyway, we ended up having a conversation on the telephone about motorhome insurance. So basically, um, he was looking for like recommendations for me. He's uh, only had a motorhome for one year, I think. Drew, you had a motorhome for? And um, anyway, he was um, checking down through his, and he was looking to get like European breakdown cover. And uh, anyway, so he, he just wanted to know what we did. Obviously, he knew that we go abroad quite often. And um, I've literally just done my renewal with Caravan Guard. Um, and I just wanted to say that we've been with Caravan Guard from the word go. Uh, it was recommended to us. Um, I'm not going to say there's other, you know, you, you, you know your insurance companies. Everybody sort of tends to stick with their uh, insurance companies, that peace of mind thing. Um, but yeah, and I'm exactly the same. And I've been sort of like dedicated to the cause a bit with Caravan Guard. And, uh, you know, you, you always want a good company cover, one that's like well recognized. Uh, there are a lot of motorhome covers. I know like Comfort is very popular. Uh, Adrian Flux is um, the Caravan Motorhome Club. Uh, there's uh, other, yeah, that, and you, you know what companies you're with. But anyway, I'm just wanted to say that I, I just literally wanted to say about Caravan God with me, um, I've just renewed my policy and, and the actual motorhome policy for me is um, 375 quid. Fully comprehensive, protected no claims. Um, on top of that, I have got European breakdown cover, which is another 46 quid, which um, at the end of the day, for me now, it just gives you that peace of mind. Um, you know, we've got uh, obviously insurance cover for European and uh, yeah, and they, they are the a couple of the optional um, covers that, you, you know, what, yeah. So everybody, and, and there is some other, I, I, I literally um, rang um, Caravan Guard a day and we were just having a double check. I was just having a double check. I like Caravan Guard because you call them and it wasn't long I've got someone on the end of a telephone that you can talk to. And she was called Abby today, really helpful. They seemed to, you know, and just wanted to go through all your details, double check all your details. And we just went down through, checking everything through, just to make sure it's all tickety-boo. Um, you know, you don't want to get caught out, just making sure everything's in place um, for them trips. Um, yeah, so um, them optional cover things. Uh, we even talked, I, I haven't actually, actually got with my cover as yet, um, equipment and personal possessions, uh, which is, you know, when you insure your um, house, you know, you've got buildings insurance and uh, the contents. So basically your contents, um, all your lovely stuff that you've got in your motorhome, all your bits and pieces that you sort of uh, kind of take for granted a little bit. Um, but um, these guys actually do um, a little cover for, up to five thousand pounds of a cover, which is awning, ground sheets, um, tr a trail, a extra trailer if you carry one, security devices like uh, things. You know, this this obviously um, this has got a tracker, a mobilizer um, on it, um, and obviously they're quite expensive to fit, so they would cover all them little bits and pieces. Um, or your crockery and cutlery, 
clothes and even down to toiletries, you know, which, yeah, you know, if you've got a, uh, a bottle of perfume, you've got um, all them bit, little bits and pieces, I'd be, you know, and, and I think in a, in, a, in a good respect, it's always good to, um, v like, fit, take some photos of the stuff you actually have got. You know, we've got plenty of photos. I've got it on YouTube. But um, all your plates and your cutlery and all your bits and pieces that you've got in your motorhome, because if it ever vanished, it went up in smoke, it'd be like, what did I have? Oh my God, I had that, you know, and it'd be like, keep coming back to you. So it's always good to keep a sort of um, bit of a log of what you've got in your motorhome, especially then you can go to your insurance company and say, look, this is what we actually had in our motorhome. So um, I was just like going to put that out there um, saying that, yeah, I, I totally love me Caravan Guard. Not that we've had any... Um, calls to use them um but uh obviously it just gives me that peace of mind and uh it's always like I say I'm, i just sort of do you know it was one thing you know you sort of like talk about these things and then you get a few people sort of hey what are you with who are you with can you recommend yeah i can recommend i you know i i, I recommend again caravan guard to anybody um they seem really useful to me um but um Give me your views, make a comment. Who are you with? Why are you with them? Have you had any deal? You know, has anybody had some dodgy insurance company that hasn't, you've had a problem, hadn't paid up? You know, things do happen. You know, um, we see accidents. Uh, we see, you know, motorhomes going up in flames and stuff like that. You know, it's horrendous stuff. But um, obviously, uh, you need that protection. When you're talking about big chunks of money that these things are worth, um, you know, you need the best protection. And that's, that's why I'd, I want good protection on my motorhome. You know, I, I don't want to, um, you know, have sort of like the situation where, oh, there's a bit of a loophole. Oh, we're not paying out. We want, you know, we want, uh, we don't want that eventually, we hope nothing ever is going to happen. And we hope nothing's going to ever happen to your motorhome. But uh, just... If, if you're if you're with another insurance company get and you you know you, you sort of get a bit blase with the details just give them a ring and uh, I, I that's what I'd literally love today I rang her up and um yeah I'm, I'm babbling again but um yeah there you go so that's it isn't it that is it so we have got like European breakdown cover um, they will give you options of um, you can get uh, also uh, included as standard fully comprehensive specialized motor cover 24 hour UK recovery roadside breakdown assistance um, uh, yeah that's the so we've got um, oh the legal cover a hundred thousand pounds worth of legal cover um, public liability obviously and a thousand pounds worth of cover for keys and locks um, I know they do the oh the so the optional cover uh, they do is the emergency accommodation as well so you can get um, uh, 17 up to 17, 75 pounds of daily uh, cover up to 15 days. Um, so you can continue holiday and choose up to 100. You can, or you can have a hundred pounds worth of cover per day for 30 days. There you go. Yeah. 75 for 15, a hundred pounds for 30 days. Um, so there we got just that, that clarified. But, um, but again, if you are in foreign land and you have a problem and where are we going to stay my motorhome's damaged just had, had to be taken to the garage where are we going to stay um you know it's all them sort of things i haven't actually got that with my policy um you know so but it's always them sort of things that um you you sort of think about you can you maybe you can overdo it i don't know what do you think guys what what do i do i do i need that do i need that you know there's, there's sort of like things um you know like i say I, I just want that sort of like breakdown thing hopefully we can get around a few things i'm babbling i'm going to leave the video there thanks for watching our videos if you watch this video um don't forget to um obviously we're sort of getting on the edge of uh, tr i'm getting into a little trip planning out a little trip for Christmas. Um, and if you're planning out a little trip, we've done trips to Germany uh, in last November. We were out there sort of uh, doing some stuff. So look at our previous videos and a playlist with Germany. And we did Scotland last Christmas. Absolutely 
incredible. Um, so have a look at our Scotland playlist. If you want to go to Scotland, go to Edinburgh Caravan Motorhome Club site. It's phenomenal. I was talking to somebody about it today. Out by the coast, bus service into Edinburgh. Outrageous. Go to Edinburgh. Um, if you haven't been before, if you haven't been before, Go to Scotland. Go to Scotland. You'll love it. Go in your motor room. Plenty of gas, plenty of food in the fridge. And you'll love it. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to cut the video short there because otherwise it'll be going on too long. Thanks for watching. Check your insurance details.